All right, good night, Danielle. So I want to talk about the two bottles of Atar that I have. Um, the Queen of Sheba is the one that I got recently in the Hip Perfume haul that I did, and then Call Tot Nights, Call Tot Night is the one that I've been sitting on for about a, a month now, maybe, maybe two months, maybe. Um, I accidentally stumbled upon this collection. It's um, the, uh, I ordered a Penhaligans from Hit Perfume, and of course they didn't send Penhaligans, they sent the Atar, and I love it. I'm so happy with it. This, this one, out of the two, the Queen of Sheba and the Call Top Knight, I much prefer the Call Top Knight just because it's, uh, it feels darker and um, spicier to me. Uh, and I really like that kind of mysterious scent, and it's very, very Middle Eastern. They're both very Middle Eastern scents, but um, the Kaltat Night is the one that I much prefer. And let's see, the I think I think I paid maybe 200, 200 lira for this one, and maybe a hundred, a hundred and fifty lira for the Queen of Sheba. Um, I looked online, and the, you can't buy these in Turkey. Um, so I, I don't really know how much they cost. Um, I don't really know how much they cost regularly, but I'm going to look for it next time I go to the airport and see if I can find it because there are some other scents that I really want to try. They have a rose scent and rose is my favorite. So, uh, anyway, Call Talk Night is a majority, it's a very fruity fra fra fragrance, uh, with cherries sitting on the top of it. And you, you smell that cherry all the way through, pretty much all the way through the whole, the whole thing. And it does have patchouli in it, but... The patchouli in this one doesn't bother me that much. Um, I can't really, I can't really smell it. Maybe that's what gives it a little bit of a, um, a muskier scent. But they didn't overdo the patchouli in this one. So the top note, top notes are cherries, cherry and cinnamon. The uh, middle notes are vanilla, and red apple. And then at the bottom we're sitting with patchouli and white musk. And I love the white musk scent. You definitely can smell that. Um, it's mostly a winter and an evening perfume, and it's just, it's really nice. Let's just give it a little spray real quick. I'm wearing a lot of elephants, so I think they'll go well together. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's really nice, I swear. It's so good. But yeah, you just smell that cherry right off the top. It's so, it's so fruity. And maybe the cinnamon is what makes it so unique, the cherry and the cinnamon together. I thought maybe I had one other, oh, I, well, it's raspberry. I have a, mmm, by Juliet has a gun, and that one's very fruity. It's very raspberry. And Queen of Sheba, let me see what, we're going to compare these two. Queen of Sheba has peach, osmanthus flower, tobacco leaf, and incense as the top notes. And the middle notes are tuberose, citrus, jasmine, and red rose, and the base notes are white musk and amber. I wonder if that white musk is something that kind of goes across the entire line, if that's one of the scents they put in every, every one. According to the scent notes, I should like Queen of Sheba more, but for some reason I prefer the Call Tot Night. I just love that cinnamon smell in it, you know? And another thing with the Queen of Sheba, it's not as um, prominent as the Call Tot Night. It's not as, uh, it doesn't have such a, I guess it would be the, the silage, the silage, the scent that it just leaves wafting. I don't feel like this one does it the way that Call Tot Night does. And already I feel like I can't really smell it. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it's nice. But it just doesn't have the staying power of Call Tot Night, I wonder. I wonder why it's so weird because they're the same line, you know? It definitely smells nice, and according to the notes, I should like this one much more, but no, I love, oh God, it smells good. Oh, just spray it on. <laughs> well, uh... Oh, they're gonna hate me at the gym this evening. <laughs> they're gonna hate me. That's not fat, that's just muscle that I hadn't, I wasn't flexing. See, see, it doesn't move. <laughs> Oh my God, it's amazing. Why, why don't I just like this one? I don't know why. Let me spray it. <laughs> I, this is why I can't make friends at the gym. This is probably the real reason. <laughs> I should be able to smell it. It just smells like that first sniff. 
it was very medicinal. Like, it smells like medicine to me. You know? And I... Now it's starting to... That must be the osmanthus flower. And I definitely can smell a citrusy sm scent, but I don't smell rose. I don't smell tuberose. I love tuberose. I don't smell it. I definitely don't smell jasmine. I just smell the osmanthus flower is what I think I smell in citrus. Why? Maybe if I shake it. Let's try it again. <laughs> we'll shake. You're not supposed to do that because it aerates the perfume, but who cares? See, maybe it needs, to, needs a little mix in. It just still smells like medicine. And then this smells amazing. It smells fucking amazing. Ah, oh, I, I want to make out with me with this. <laughs> oh, why, can't, why doesn't this one smell? It just smells like laundry detergent, kind of. Oh, man. I mean, I like it, but just comparatively, it, do, it just doesn't compare. So, I don't know. I'm gonna try to pick one up at the airport and because uh, there's a rose one that I would really like to try and see how that compares with these because both of these are from Hit Parfum so maybe this one is an original and maybe this one is a knockoff and maybe that's why I don't like it so much so when I go to the airport I'm going to try to see if I can find this one in particular and smell it at the airport to see what it uh, smells like there and then I also want to try that rose one if they have it hopefully they carry this but if they don't carry this in Istanbul maybe they'll have it in Bahrain so I'll check both both airports for it to see yeah, but the bottles are beautiful, aren't they? They're nice, huh? Those are pretty. I mean, when you look at this bottle, you really think there's gonna be something awesome in it, for sure. But anyway, yeah, definitely. If you like, even if you don't really like fruity perfumes, I really recommend getting the cherry because it's not, I mean, the Call Talk Night, because it's not syrupy. It's not like a gourmand. It's not like super sweet. It's, it's, it's very adult, it's very feminine, and it's a very kind of mysterious smell, but it's gentle. You know, it's fruity in like an adult way, not like a little kid candy way. <laughs> yeah, this is, I only smell the os osmanthus flower. That's it, that's all I smell. It's too bad. Maybe that one's a knockoff, maybe why? Because it's, it's, I mean, maybe the, oh, it is, it is a knockoff. Look, that's a sticker. The other one doesn't have a sticker, it's on the bottle. I found them out. Oh, that's gotta be why. Yeah. Oh, and this one's on the bottle. It's not coming off. Hmm. That must be why. I'm gonna try it in the airport and see. Well then, so maybe I do love it and I just don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks y'all.